UNLV is bowl eligible for the first time in a decade, and they've achieved the six-win threshold three weeks into October. The Rebels are also receiving votes in both national polls for the first time since 2003. Certainly been a special season so far in Las Vegas. Hi, everybody. I'm Jesse Kurtz here in the Mountain West Network studio, where it's my pleasure to head out to Las Vegas and bring in the head football coach of the Rebels, Barry Odom. Coach, what a wonderful time it is in Vegas right now. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me on, and uh, it's, it's always great to be able to spend time with you guys. And we're excited about the progress and the, the start of the season on what we've done. Uh, this is such a great league, and every single week you're tested with, with great coaches, tremendous players, and um, our kids have responded. We've gotten a little bit better every single week, and that's been a, a big key to our success on this steady improvement throughout the year. And We sure uh, have to continue that as the stretch run here starts. You're the first football coach at UNLV to win six of his first seven games since Ron Meyer in 1973. When did you realize that this group was capable of this level of play? Well, you don't, you, you don't know how the schedule will play out and, and what that looks like on, on how it goes from week to week. We, just, we focused, and I know this is a little bit boring talk, but we focused on the present, on the moment of trying to go 1-0 and each week the development of what our team needs to be and the importance of our habits throughout the week on preparation and practice. Because we are a believer that, that those habits become game day reality and how you prepare and how you work every single day, that only gives you an opportunity to go compete. And, and we're trying to, to do the things fundamentally um, on offense of running the football, establishing the run defensively, some characteristics of stopping and eliminating explosive plays, playing aggressive enough to create takeaways, being good on third down defense. We've hit some of those marks, but I still believe we haven't we haven't played our best ball. We've, we've still got a long ways to go and what we can become, and we're, we're working really hard to try to get there. Six and one for the first time since 1984. Back then, Randall Cunningham was the quarterback. He was a pretty good one. This year, you're led currently by a freshman, Jaden Mayaba, who was thrust into the role when Doug Brumfield was injured in week three. And Mayaba has gone on to complete 65% of his passes for over 1,300 yards and five touchdowns. And the Rebels had not lost since he took over the starting role. What is it about his makeup where he was able, as a young player, to seize this opportunity and make the most of it? Well, he's, he's a, a very mature competitor. He prepares throughout the week and has since we got here. Um, like it's the most important thing he's got going on. I mean, he is in the film room all the time. He's a tremendous student. But also, he's got a stoic nature about himself on his approach. And, you know, I think also you look at the ability of the 10 guys around him to play well and to increase their game, that always helps the quarterback out. And uh, we feel like we've got three quarterbacks on the roster that we can win with. Uh, Jaden right now has got the hot hand and is playing well, and the team is playing well around him. And we understand how important that position is on the way that we play on offense. He's got to distribute the ball. We've got a, an element of some quarterback run game, but the decisions he's makes Every single snap, the read within the call, he's got to be right, and, and he's learning and, and progressing as we go. You mentioned the importance of a good run game, and you've got a really good running game going right now for him, averaging over 209 yards per game, which ranks 14th in the country, and your 22 rushing touchdowns is just two off the national lead. What has pleased you most about the way that you're running the football? I think the distribution of who's carrying the ball has been important. You know, we've got a number of guys that have significant carries. Uh, our offensive line has gotten, they, they've worked to improve every single week. They're working well together. The communication piece that it takes for all five guys to be on the same page. And then the effectiveness of blocking at the point of attack. And then some of the things we're trying to do schematically on zone concepts, but also spreading the ball on the perimeter and between the tackles. I think that has helped us. And the, the kids have responded to the game plan of the week, and they understand the importance of what that looks like, playing smart, playing well together. 
Speaking of responding, your kicker, Jose Pisano, has been automatic this year. He's made 18 field goals. That leads the nation. He's missed just once. He was 6-for-6 six six in the win over Colorado State, which was a program record. But maybe most impressive, as you look at the entire season, he's kicked two game winners in the waning seconds of a game. Did so against CSU on Saturday and also earlier in the season against Vanderbilt. How comfortable are you when he's lining up for a kick that the moment's not too big for him, and he'll drill it. Well, he's proven um, that that he's able to do that in big time moments, and and we've seen it on the practice field in two minute situations or certain situations that we put them in, but also the ability now to take that and go do it in, in uh, clutch situations on uh, at the end of game, end of half, when when wins and losses are decided on that kick. Um, He's been tremendous. The snap, the hold, the protection, that group has really taken on the ownership of what it, uh, the responsibility of what it needs to look like. And, and effectively, we get inside the 35-yard line, we should we should come away with points. We want touchdowns, but, but again, if, if you get there, if you got uh, someone that you can count on and you know that they're going to give a, an opportunity to come away with points, you feel pretty good about it. Well, he's kicked at a high level no matter where he's been. He's a former FCS All-American during his time at Missouri State. Your program is winning off the field as well. Earlier this month, the Las Vegas Raiders gifted $1 million to UNLV as part of the naming rights to the Al Davis team room at your facility. What does it mean to have Mark Davis and the Las Vegas Raiders investing in Rebel football? Well, it's huge for our program and our university and, and athletic department. And we're invested in the city. And there's a strong support here. There's there's great space for college football in Las Vegas. Man, it's the sports mecca of the world. The Aces just won another championship. There's so many things that are going on here, but college football is alive. And it's a hot ticket right now in our city. And to have the support of the Raiders and the organization that they stand for, that speaks volumes of our leadership and Eric Harper and the things he's doing within the city to promote our, our team and our program and to continue to move us in the right direction. Well, you're certainly moving in the right direction. No question about that. You're 6-1 Rebels. Next up, head to Fresno, California to take on Jeff Tedford's 6-1 Fresno State Bulldogs. Winner of this game certainly makes a strong case to be ranked in the top 25. What is it about Fresno State that provides challenges for your Rebels as you get ready for this game? Well, I've got... Tremendous respect for Coach Tedford. Uh, he's done uh, it at a high level for a long, long time. Uh, his team is so well coached. They're they're explosive on offense. Playmakers all over the field. Both quarterbacks have played and played really well. I think their line of scrimmage, their offensive line, is active. They're physical. They play well together. And then defensively, um, they run. They swarm the ball. They're good up front. Their front seven is is really really stout. And the back end, they're aggressive and play really well. Um, we, we have to have a great week of preparation. We need to have a tremendous game plan. Uh, so I know stepping into that environment, uh, night game at Fresno, it, it will be a unique experience for us. Well, it'll be fun for all of us to watch. Uh, Coach Odom, congratulations on the great start. Congratulations, by the way, on winning the, the Fremont Cannon. Congratulations on bowl eligibility and wish you nothing but the best going forward here the rest of the way. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. We appreciate you. That's head coach Barry Odom of the UNLV Rebels. His Rebels head to the San Joaquin Valley this Saturday to tangle with Fresno State in a battle of 6-1 and one teams. Kickoff from Valley Children's Stadium is set for 7.30 p.m. Pacific time and broadcast on FS1. From the Mountain West Network studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.